What up world, I'm Steve, founder and CEO of CryptoCrewUniversity.com, home of the number one crypto classes. If you are tired of losing your money, you wanna have more success trading, and you wanna work towards financial freedom, this right here is gonna be your new favorite channel. Hit that subscribe button right now, and everybody hit that thumbs up button. Today we have a phenomenal video. Bitcoin has just been rejected from the 12K level. And today I'm going to share with you exactly what you should be doing right now as we speak. And on top of that, we're going to be covering some of your favorite altcoins. Welcome in, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a beautiful day. I want to start out by saying thank you for your continued support. Um, for my son, I'm going to be giving an update today that's just been just a huge help for me during a difficult time. And if you watched last week's video, we were attacked by a monsoon. So thank you for your support during that. It was arguably one of the hardest videos I ever had to film. Felt like somebody screaming in my ear and me having to deliver a very clean message so thank you thank you thank you everybody if you're new here this is where we take a scientific approach to the charts only looking at the fats taking a few steps back looking at the big picture so we stay several steps ahead of the herd we're going to start out with ethereum today we're going to go into bitcoin and we're going to go into some of your favorite altcoins as well but what i want to show you first is an ascending triangle. We showed you this well over a month ago when Ethereum was forming an ascending triangle. We showed it to you on July 22nd. You probably remember this chart very well. And this is when Ethereum was at about $250. And we said, look, this is an ascending triangle. These break to the upside. Just be ready for it. And this wasn't an ascending triangle that was on the four hour chart or the one hour chart forming for a few days or maybe a week. This was forming since well before coronavirus was a thing. This was nothing to play with. This was a large formation and quite powerful. So Ethereum was around $250. And then you can see what's happened since then in the dominance chart for Ethereum. An absolute explosion for Ethereum, no surprise there. I show you this ascending triangle to foreshadow what we are about to cover in Bitcoin, an ascending triangle. So I want to paint a clear picture. We're gonna go into several charts today that are going to really show you a very unique perspective. It's not going to be what you expect for what you should do right now, but I guarantee you're gonna be blown away because what I'm gonna show you today I don't believe you've seen before, and we will find out whether you've seen it before. My money is on no, especially one chart that I'm going to share with you. But I want to start with saying that if you watch my channel, you know I love giving back. A few months ago, we gave back over a million dollars worth of free courses to people all around the world. Last month, we gave a ton back to people in need, people affected by the coronavirus, single moms, single dads, uh, war veterans, you name it, we gave back. And I wanted to do something pretty major. There was a course that my students were begging me for. Steve, please make this course. Please make this course. So I did. It took me a few weeks. I put everything I had into it. Instead of putting it out for a bunch of money and charging everybody for it, I decided for a limited time only, we would give it away for free. So you can get this right now for free. So if you're tired of losing your money, you want to achieve more success in trading, this will help you dramatically right now, today. So go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com. This will take you two seconds to get this free course. And, and if you're really slow, it'll take you four seconds. CryptoCrewUniversity.com, link is down below. And you're just, just going to scroll all the way to the bottom and click get your free course. It's that simple. And then if you saw uh, the banner in the beginning, to those of you uh, who had a little bit of trouble getting the course, this is how you do it. You sign up, you click here on the bonus, you get to this screen, and then you're here 
and the chorus is right here. The notes are below. The notes are phenomenal. So go scoop that up limited time only. Now we're going to get to this ascending triangle. Remember, we just showed you an ascending triangle that we pointed out uh, a little over a month ago, right? Bitcoin, or uh, sorry, Ethereum went from about 250 and uh, exploded almost up to 500. This is a little bit bigger ascending triangle. So remember, the Ethereum one was forming a little before coronavirus was even a thing. And so basically forming for all of 2020. This ascending triangle is a little bit different. One of the reasons, it's for Bitcoin. Secondly, it started forming in December of 2018. Okay, so this has been forming for quite some time and you will have significantly more respect for 12K once I show you this chart and everything becomes crystal clear. This is going to be very powerful, but look, back in the end of 2018, we had this low here, which is phenomenal. We came back up, we tested 12K, guess what? We didn't close above. We tried for a few weeks. We had some wicks hang out above here, but we never closed above 12K. And then we were rejected down and we formed a higher low. Phenomenal, a lot of strength here. And then we went up and guess what? We tested 12K again, and that's where we are today. That's where we are today. So we've seen a rejection from 12K. Is that a surprise? No, and here's why. If you zoom out, and, and, and one thing I want you to do right, right up front is just always take a couple steps back and look at the big picture, stay level-headed, look at the facts and the charts, and look left. Those are the things in order I want you to do, and that will save you so much stress, so much time, so much anxiety, and it will bring you clarity. And here's what I want you to do. Put some respect on 12K, okay? The reason is, if you zoom out in history, and Bitcoin's you know been around for about 10 years, and it's got a whole bunch of candles, and out of the history of Bitcoin, out of the history, we've We've closed a candle above 12K one, two, three, four, five times. Five. You can count it on one hand. The candles that have closed above 12K, five of them. That's it. There's only been five candles in the history of Bitcoin to close above 12K. It's a major level for a weekly close. We're going to close another weekly candle in four days. Let's see how this pans out. But we're in this ascending triangle. And just to put it in time perspective, it's not like tomorrow we would reach down here if we are to get rejected. This takes some time. Just to put it in perspective, these are weekly candles. It took us to go from the bottom to the top the first time, 28 weeks. Now to go from the top here to the bottom here, it took us 37 weeks. And this one is about 26 weeks to where we are now. These things take time. But again, this is a very bullish pattern. And even if we were to come down here, it's likely that we would form a higher low and continue in this formation that is very bullish and would have a very large uh, break to the upside. So now that you've seen the big picture, you've taken a couple steps back, you're like, wow, you can count on one hand the number of candles that have closed above 12K in the history of Bitcoin. Okay, now I respect 12K a little bit more. I'm not worried about 12K, Bitcoin just getting rejected by 12K. Now I'm a lot more level-headed. Wait till I show you the next chart. This is one I guarantee you've never seen before. Um, let's jump into it because this is really important. This is really important. Just be prepared to say, Oh, wow. So one of the main questions you may have and one of the questions floating around crypto is when will Bitcoin reach 20K? When will we get an all time high? Now, some people are on the other side of the fence that says Bitcoin is never going to reach an all time high. I would strongly argue that it is highly likely and very probable. The question is when? What if I were to tell you I've got a chart in front of you right now that has accurately predicted when the last two all-time highs have happened to a T. And what if I told you 
I am willing to bet you've never seen this chart before like I'm about to show it to you. Sound pretty cool, right? Well, this is, these are the facts. Here it is. So if your question is, hey, Steve, when are we going to reach an all-time high? What can we expect? Let's break it down. This is the HV, the historical volatility. You've watched my channel for a while now. You're already subscribed. If you're not, you better do that right now so you can stay up to date on pieces of information like this. The historical volatility, when it comes down to about the 81 level, it's happened twice with these two circles. Now, keep that in mind for a second. At the same time, we've been forming this trend, not for a couple weeks, not for a couple months. It started actually in 2013, where we've been forming this downtrend. Now, the reason we've been forming this downtrend will become crystal clear in a moment, but I want you to understand We've been in a downtrend since 2013. Now, just recently, in July, we've broken out of this trend. First time since 2013. What does it mean? We'll get to that in a second as well. But let's go back to these two circles. We understand that 81 level, pointed out right here, is very critical. The reason why is fascinating. So as we bring up price action, you can see we touched the 81 level. What we're looking for is a touch of the 81 level and a bounce off of it. And watch how accurate this is. A touch of the 81 and a bounce off of it happened in January of 2013. If we go up to the price action of January 2013, this is exactly right before we reached an all-time high in Bitcoin exactly right before we reached an all-time high. And you can zoom in here and see what we're talking about. The previous all-time high was here back in 2011. It took us a couple years. How did we know when it was going to happen? We bounced on the 81 and from the 81. Once we bounced from the 81, that was right before we reached our all-time high. The reason this is important is I'm going to show you the second one. And then let me explain what the all-time high is going to do for Bitcoin. And no, it's not going to be a million dollars in the next minute. We're just not one of those channels that just pump Bitcoin to a million, trillion, quadrillion dollars. That's just not us. We state the facts and watch this. The next time Bitcoin reached down to the 81 level and bounced from it was in February 2017. The reason this is important is this was right before we had crossed our all-time high. Again, the all-time high was in November 2013. It took us several years. But fast forward to 2017, that's right as we bounced from the 81 level, and it's right before we reached our all-time high. Fascinating. Nobody showed you this chart before, and it's to a T accurate. The reason I'm showing you this is if you look where we are, we're not close yet to the 81 level. We're at about 120. And we'll get to that in a second. But let me clearly state why this is important. This is everyone's biggest question, right? Volatility, as we reach our bottom, you can see the volatility start to fall as we try to enter a new, new all-time high. Now, there's two trajectories here, before all-time high and after all-time high. Let's be very clear about the difference. Before all-time high is something that looks like this. It's something that's like, if you're back in the day going sledding as a kid, you see this hill and you're like, piece of cake. After all-time high is like this. You see that hill as a kid, you're like, hell no, I'm not going down that hill. That looks ridiculous. That's the difference between before all-time high and after. And if you follow our channel for a while, you understand that the trend angle on these two is night and day. Once we reach an all-time high, that's when the true ridiculous explosion will happen. And I want you to pay close attention to this chart. So as we get rejected from 12K, there's several things I want you to do. Stay level-headed, look left, look at the big picture, look at the chart I just showed you, watch this one, and you can see once we reach our bottom, 
and we're moving into our all-time high, that's when volatility is very low. It's the calm before the storm. It's the quiet before the storm. And then the explosion happens once we bounce from that 81 level. Same thing happened here. All-time high, low, bear market. You can see that what happened was we slowly trickled down less volatility, less volatility. Market is very quiet. Bounce from the 81 level. That's when the true explosion started to happen. Again, that's the hill. As a kid, you're saying, hell no, I'm not sliding down that hill. That looks ridiculously dangerous. Okay. So as we approach where we are now, you can see we're in a very large ascending triangle and it's, pr it's pretty clean and crisp when you draw it on the monthly chart. Again, if we get rejected from this, from this 12K level, that's fine. That's fine. But we still have a, a very good chance of going above the 12K. You could see here, we still have a chance. We haven't been rejected from 12K yet, officially, in terms of the technical chart, right? So we're still in a good spot, but if you're really looking at 20K, I would highly recommend you get the HV on the monthly, draw this chart just like I have it here, and stay calm and stay level-headed because every day somebody is going to be putting in the comments somewhere that 20K is coming tomorrow or later today or tonight or tomorrow morning or, or sometime like that, and you're going to stay level-headed with this chart and, and you'll have some facts in front of you. And if we, if we continue this trend, we still have some time before 20K, all right? We need to be a little bit patient. Although Bitcoin just broke this trend line that we've been forming since 2013, I find that quite fascinating as well. So now let's cover some fundamental basics of what we are looking at here on the weekly chart when it comes to Bitcoin prior to us getting into some other coins. One thing on the price action, we showed you this trend line since 2018. Now it's holding as resistance, although we are showing some strength into it, not once, but twice, still showing some strength into this resistance area. Now with the ADX and DI, we showed a bullish cross right around 8 to 9K. Trend strength is starting to be stronger. One of the downsides is the weekly cross down of the Stochastics RSI. Not enough respect is put onto this, but if you look back in history and you look left, like I showed you last week, you're probably saying, all right, this is pretty serious. So we need to keep a close eye. Can we hold some level of support around this 80 level and continue a bounce up? Or is this going to be something that over many weeks and months we come back down and test some kind of low down here, right? These things don't happen overnight. Again, this is taking a look at the bigger picture. Still red in the MVT. We like to see that. We want to continue to see that. And you know the HV is down here screaming that a major, 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 major move is ensuing. So as we look at it right now, what you should be doing right now in Bitcoin is, is really clear. You have to be focused on this bigger picture right here. We still have an opportunity to move ahead here. Although well, there's a lot of people that are, that are freaking out that we've had a little bit of a correction. But if you understand how powerful 12K is, there is no surprise that we saw a little minor rejection nothing to be concerned about. It's not a rejection that broke our trend. We're still in a bullish trend. We still have bullish momentum. There's nothing to be concerned about. And in the big picture for several years, we've been in this formation, which is very bullish. Nothing, nothing breaks that. Now, this chart on the monthly, keep an eye on that for 20K. Keep an eye on the stochastic cross down and where we end up with this trend rejection here. Now, we showed you uh, previously in this video that we wanted to do something above and beyond to help you with your trading, right? Trading can be stressful. It can be overwhelming. You could be losing money and you could be tired of losing money. Well, I created this course to help you stop losing money, get a strategy and get it today. And by the way, it's free. For a limited time only, it's free. So go take advantage of it right now. CryptoCareerUniversity.com. Click right here to get your free course and unlock it 
right away. If you have any problems, contact me right here and I'll be standing by to help you immediately. Now, onto our next chart. This is something that I showed you time and time again. It's not, it's not popular, uh, what I'm about to tell you, but again, these are just the facts on the charts. Right now, we have extreme greed. Is that good? No, it's not good. If you're bullish, it's not good. What? Let me paint a clear picture. What I want you to know is when we have extreme fear, right? When we're in extreme fear, when we're down here, what is everybody saying? All over social media, all over any, any app you go into, if we're here, everyone is pretty much screaming the same thing. We're going down further. Prices will continue to fall. What do prices do when we're in extreme fear? Prices go up. Historically, pre pretty much every time, all right? This is where you want to be stacking up your bags. You want to be stacking your bags with Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever you love. Here, when we're in extreme fear, that's when everyone thinks the market's going down and it usually does the opposite. Now, we're on the other end of the spectrum. We're in extreme greed, where pretty much everybody is saying that we're going a lot higher, okay? I just want to paint a clear picture here, all right? So extreme greed is not a great place to be in. We've built up great market structure on this chart around the 50 level, right? Remember that 50-ish level and remember that 40, 38 level that we pointed out for month after month after month and we held it. It's a beautiful market structure. Now we're up here. We've only been up here one other time in the past few years and it didn't end well for us. So we, we're, we'll wait. We'll wait and see how this ends up, um, but it is a time to be a little bit hesitant and, and just a little bit, just, just don't follow the herd, okay? Just don't follow the herd. This is something to pay attention to. Now let's get into Link, a coin that, that people love, so I wanted to cover it. Um, here's something really fascinating, okay? If, if you follow my videos for a while, we're, we're on the weekly chart, we're on the weekly chart. If you follow my videos for a while, we, we show this ADX and DI from time to time, okay? Now, ADX and DI is, is pretty simple. If, if green crosses up, it's a buy signal. If red crosses up, it's a sell signal. That's the basic in, in a nutshell. If you took our course, then you know all sorts of intricacies with it. But we'll keep it at that. The reason I tell you is on July 23rd, 2018, we had a bullish cross. Okay? July 23rd, 2018, if we go up here in price, July 23rd, 2018, this is when Link was at about 25 cents. Just let that sink in for a second. 25 cents, we had a bullish cross, and we haven't backed down from that. We haven't had a sell signal. Okay, so if you want to make trading simple, don't you think that's the way to go? I mean, I just want to state the facts and the charts and give you a different perspective. You know, people are, are bullish on link and then they're bearish and then they're, oh my God, I should sell and, and buy. And uh, way back on July 23rd, 2018, we had a buy signal and then you sat on it. And you sat on it right now, we're at $15. Okay, just want to state what the facts are in the charts. Now, short term, everybody wants to know, how about right now with Link? Well, we reached this high in the weekly RSI at 92. This is a very rare for any altcoin, by the way. If you look at the history of altcoins in the 90s, the mid, mid, kind of mid 90s, it's very rare to reach that with the RSI. It's highly probable a pullback is ensuing. It, for any any coin and be cognizant of that on the weekly not on the four hour on the weekly So that's what we're seeing now. This is healthy. No problem there uh, You can see the stochastics had a weekly cross down which we keep pointing out people need to put more respect on that We had that in uh, the beginning of August and we're seeing that play out uh, Quite nicely while price is still relatively strong. So we'd like to see that we're still 
quite bullish on the ADX and DI. The trend strength is reaching a potential uh, previous top right around here with 70, and right now we're at 64. So something to watch there. The mouth is starting to close on the ADX and DI. And right now, with LINK on the weekly, we're holding some critical support of right at about $13.82. So this is a level that obviously Link wants to hold in the short term. We're potentially forming a bull flag here. I would watch that as well. So just a couple key points, keep it fresh, clean, and neat. Again, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button right now and everybody hit that thumbs up button. We're about to get into my favorite, my favorite, well, aside from Bitcoin, my favorite Ethereum. So we showed you some Ethereum a little bit earlier and we took it to another level here. Now, this is the daily chart, first daily chart of today. The reason I show you the daily chart is for you to stay level-headed. I want you to stay level-headed. One of the biggest things I see in, in traders, especially in crypto, is that emotional roller coaster. And that takes a toll on you. And, and you know that, you've been in crypto. And if you watch my channel, every time you watch it, you feel level-headed. You feel much better, much more calm, much more peace. You see the big picture and you say, Phew. because it's, it's easy to get caught up in the hype of the one-hour chart and the five-hour or the five-minute chart, the one-hour chart, and even the four-hour chart. And when you take a step back, you can see things much cleaner and clearer. So what I want to show you with Ethereum is what's happened over the past month. Very important. We saw a high on the first of the month. We saw a higher high on the 14th of August. And then we saw a higher high on the 1st of September. So over the month, we saw consecutive higher highs. The reason I'm showing you this is look at the RSI. We saw consecutive lower highs on the RSI at the same time higher highs in price. What is that? That's divergence. Is it bullish or bearish? Well, look at where the divergence is. If the divergence is on the tops, it's highly probable that will be bearish. If the divergence is on the bottoms, that will be bullish. So this is bearish divergence, and you're starting to see that here with this candle. Oh my God, Ethereum fell from whatever it was you know, 480 or something like that to where it is now. The sky is falling. Ethereum is dead. Ethereum is going to zero. There's nothing to worry about. This is divergence, bearish divergence. Let it play its course. Um, you can see we've got some clear levels on our chart here. Uh, this 360 level is incredibly important. Uh, obviously, we don't want to break that. But we're still pretty far from that. We still have to let this play out, give it some room to breathe. Uh, but we'll continue to watch this divergence over the course of the next few days to the next several weeks of how this plays out. Because there is some potential divergence forming on the weekly as well, given the fact that we may see Ethereum continue to move up. You see on the weekly, on August 10th, we formed our high with the RSI. And you can see that we formed a lower high here and a higher high in um, price action, but it didn't close there. So we've got to continue to keep our eye on it, see how Ethereum is. You can see on the weekly here, we are getting some resistance from this 446 four, four, area. Okay, you can see this very clean and neat on a weekly chart. You can see boom, boom, and we're starting to have a potential close below here all right so you can see this will close in four days but that's what i'm watching on ethereum that's what i'm watching on link stay level-headed on bitcoin we gave you some uh, phenomenal charts to look at and now i want to get into an update on my son steve's secrets to success we're going to talk about the community post as well um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already hit the thumbs up button and let's continue our journey for today's video. Just a quick reminder, do not miss the opportunity while time still persists. Go get your free course, limited time only. I made this free course. I wanted to give back to the community 
to give you a strategy today. Go get a strategy today that will help you right now. Go to CryptoCareerUniversity.com. The link is down below. You already know the website. Go there, scroll to the bottom, and get your free course. Just a quick reminder, once you get your free course, you're going to come to a page like this. You're going to click on the bonus. You're going to see the bonus right here, and then it opens up into that video, which is incredibly powerful. Right below it is the notes. Do not miss that. These are incredible notes, professionally designed, and um, go scoop that up right now. So one thing I wanted to share with you, um, obviously hit that subscribe button and, and hit the bell. Look for me right now. Do me a favor. You watch my videos. I'm asking you to go look at that bell. Go look at it right now. So if you're on mobile, literally don't don't watch it like this. Flip it to the side. Look at your mobile device. Go look at that subscribe button. Is the bell clicked? Go click that bell. That's very important. It's very important. It will really help me out a lot. And you get to see the new content hot off the press. So go click on that and uh, make sure you're subscribed. Now I want to say an update on my son. That's been a, a tough situation for me. And um, I, I just can't thank the community enough. I, I was... I was I was, I was blown away. I was blown away. Our community is incredible. I already knew our community is incredible, but seeing the support, that was special. And that really helped me through a tough time. Um, so I just, I just wanted to thank you. That was really special that, that, that you and, and everyone else really showed that. If you're not sure what's happening, watch last week's video at the Steve Secrets to Success. But I want to give an update. Um, my, my son is, is, has been better, has been healing, uh, but that doesn't take away from the fact that he's, he's still going to need another surgery. It's unfortunate. Um, you know, life happens that way sometimes, but when, when, when life throws you curveballs, just stay, stay level-headed. It's just like with trading. Stay level-headed. Uh, look at the big picture. And when I look at the big picture, my son still has both his legs, has both of his arms. He can see. He can hear. He can taste. Life is good. Right? Big picture, take a couple steps back, just like in trading. We're good. So it's unfortunate, another surgery. It's unfortunate he's still healing up. This background here, which obviously you haven't gotten to see my office, but you, you see this part. Uh, you won't be seeing it much longer. We're here for this video and then next week and then we leave. The reason I tell you that is my son's favorite thing is to go to the beach, which is right over here. And we go run in the water and we build these little swimming pools usually every night around 6 p.m. And he hasn't been able to do that for a bunch of weeks recovering from surgery. So, and he's not going to be able to do that before we leave. So that, you know, that, I don't, I don't like that. And I'm sure he doesn't either. But, you know, life goes on. Big picture, he's still good. Thank you for all the support. I'll keep you updated on the surgery. We have obviously more doctor's appointments coming so by next week's video i'll have some more information on that oh the community post i, I want to read this this is pretty cool um usually i don't post a lot of like personal things but i thought this was very inspirational we did a youtube community post so if you don't know if you go to my channel and you go to community you can see a lot of cool things here all right and if you follow our channel you saw this um, I want to read you this because I want you to feel it from me, okay? So th this was posted four days ago on, on, on a day that's very important to me. Eight years ago, I jumped on a plane and I said goodbye to my high-paying job, my country, my family, and my friends. I was chasing three of my biggest dreams, travel the world, be my own boss, and change lives. That's what I set out to do. Plain and simple. I established it. I told my friends. I told my mom. I told whoever would listen. This is what I'm going to do. Everyone basically said, yeah, good, good luck. Uh, it's probably not going to happen. And, and, I, and I set off. I didn't know where the road would lead me, but here we are at 65 countries later. I've lived all around the world. I've been my own boss since that day. And Crypto Korea University has changed lives around the world. On top of that, I have a beautiful wife and son. 
But here's the thing I want to really, really bring light to. I'm just a normal guy. I'm an underdog. I'm just like you. You can do it, and I know you can do it. Go chase your dreams. Start today. I can't stress the bottom part enough. You know, there's some cool things up here. The bottom part is the secret sauce. The only difference between me and everyone else is everyone else thinks about doing these things, but they don't take action. The start today is the most important part. Just take the first step. You've got dreams. There's something that you've wanted to do for a long time. Go do it. Start with just the first step. You don't have to do the whole thing. Did I try to travel the whole world on the first day? No. I took the first step. I got on that plane. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. So go start today. Go start that thing that you wanted to do today. So I hope that uh, inspires at least one person. And if it did, then that's what I set out to do. That's what I set out to do. You can see there's a couple comments here, and it looks like it touched some other lives as well. So uh, thank you for the support. Um, I hope this affected you as well. And let me know down below, what do you want to see next week? What was your favorite part about today's video? And uh, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell. And I will see you right back here next week it'll be our last week here so take it all in um, I do want to say the last week's video with our ridiculous monsoon that was that was, uh, arguably my hardest video I've ever filmed I do these in one take I don't know if you've ever noticed that you know a lot of people will edit and splice and you know delete certain things if they said something bad or wrong I do it in one take it's raw it's unedited it's uncut it's straight from the heart to your ears every single time there's never been any different so last week was hard it felt like somebody screaming in my ear literally screaming in my ear and if you've ever given a speech to a bunch of people while someone's screaming in your ears it's almost impossible i don't even know how i finished last week's video i i hope it's made some sort of sense um it was tough but thank you for your support i'll see you right back here next week I want you to go draw these charts, and if you haven't done so already, go get that free course. It, it, it's, it's very powerful. You will absolutely love it. Uh, limited time only before um, it will not be available. So peace and love to the underdogs.